Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Over the past few months I've made many videos on the pre-pottery Neolithic sites of Anatolia, such as Gobekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, but I haven't really made a video about what came after in this part of the world. Well, between 7500 and 6400 BC, Anatolia was home to what some call the world's first metropolitan city or proto-city, and that is the incredible site of Chatelhoyuk, a very large Neolithic and Chalcolithic settlement. During its heyday around 9000 years ago, it may have been home to as many as 10,000 people. People that lived in mud brick houses, that were all crammed together in what looked like aggregated structures or neighbourhoods. You entered each house via a hole in the ceiling. They generally had two rooms with plaster interiors, and it is long believed there was a timber ladder or staircase, although until recently, no example had ever been discovered. Each house contained a cooking hearth. There were a range of tools and artistic objects, and evidence suggests that inside and also on the roof, a whole range of domestic activities took place. I will do a full detailed video on Chatelhoyuk in the future, because it really is a breathtaking archaeological site with so many points of interest. There are many murals, figurines, tools and weapons, there are shrines and communal areas, and a painting that some call the world's oldest map. But a new discovery at Chatelhoyuk is a world's first, and that is this 8,500 year old fragment of a wooden ladder. And although that may not sound all that interesting from the outside, the importance of this find should not be understated. The idea that people entered their houses through the ceiling with the help of a ladder or staircase has long been claimed, but with no examples of such ladders, this idea could never be proven. But now all of this has changed. The large piece of chiselled wood was found inside a building close to a hearth that also has a scar on the wall in the southern corner. Here was seen diagonal marks in the gypsum plaster. There was also a small neat plastered protrusion on which the tip of the staircase would have rested. So not only do we have a fragment of the ladder, we also know exactly where it was positioned. The wooden fragment being 75cm long and 30cm wide is far larger than the average wooden object found at the site, and is also a somewhat miraculous find due to its age. Archaeologists believe this building was intentionally filled, maybe after being decommissioned, and it was also set alight, as there is a lot of evidence of burning in the fill. Under the fill at floor level was a furnace, with obsidian and bone tools, as well as animal mandibles placed around it. It was seemingly a tradition to place such votive bones in burned and abandoned areas. Under the fill, the experts found the large wooden fragment, and at first they believed it was a fragment of a large wooden boat. But when the rungs of the ladder became clear, it was quickly apparent what this object actually was. At previous excavations at Chatelhoyuk, diagonal traces in the wall plaster, often close to the hearth, were believed to be traces of a staircase. This building showed the same thing, and the wooden fragment was found right in the vicinity of such building features. Interestingly, the same kind of wooden staircases have been used in Anatolia in the very recent past, as shown in this picture. So it's amazing the same practice and construction method goes back 9000 years. That's because I guess it works, and if something's not broken you don't fix it. Early analysis on the wood showed that it came from a juniper tree, which also tells us about tree cover and the source of wood in this region 9000 years ago. The abandoned building also contained a clay bovine head, there was an obsidian arrowhead and marble statue, as well as a possible pedestal. 
The building was rapidly buried with building rubble and debris, creating an airtight anaerobic environment, and because of the depletion of oxygen inside, it led to the slow carbonisation of the wooden staircase. And hence, that's why we have a 9,000 year old wooden relic, and why it is so well preserved. The find was made under the direction of archaeologist Ali Umat Turkan, who has been excavating the ancient site for the past two years, but only sporadically because of the pandemic. Now in 2022, more trenches will be going in at the site as excavations continue. The team involved in the project consists of more than 50 different experts, researchers, conservators, archaeologists, architects and also university students. Authorities are also planning a large visitor centre at Chatelhoyuk and designated sightseeing areas, as they aim to encourage more tourism and tell the story of the Neolithic period of ancient Anatolia. With Gebekli Tepe, Karahan Tepe and all the Tastapela sites, together with Chatelhoyuk and many more historically unique and important localities, Turkey is certainly a destination for anyone interested in the remote past. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.